Hello, my name is Steve Federico and I'm a general pediatrician at Denver Health and uh, have been the director of general pediatrics and school and community programs here um, for six years. Once again, we continue our excellent partnership with Denver Public Schools and Denver Health um, to expand vaccination to the students who are now eligible for the COVID vaccine. All students ages 16 and older are eligible um, to receive a COVID vaccine. And so we are doing our best to try and prioritize those students to get them their vaccine as fast as possible. Many people across Denver are trying to get the same vaccine. So there's a lot of competition for these spots. And so what we have done in partnership with DPS is to start by um, organizing some mass vaccination events targeted specifically for students. Students and families should be receiving an email this week with a link to sign up for these appointments. Um, they're gonna go out in a geographic format, meaning we're gonna reach out to students in certain areas of town where we're holding these events um, and try and target people um, who live in and around the schools um, where we will be having these mass events. Um, this weekend, we will be having one in the far northeast and one in southwest Denver um, at both the Evie Dennis campus and the Lincoln High School campus. Um, so students in that part of town and those two parts of town should be receiving um, information through their email system, their DPS email system to sign up. So we will only have Pfizer vaccine at these events. And that is one of the vaccines um, that does require two doses. So on the date of the vaccine, you'll actually be scheduled for your second vaccine three weeks later. And we will do that in exactly the same way. We'll have it on the same location in the same manner. And so I'm excited to, uh, to expand um, that protection to our students. As many of you know, we already vaccinated most of our teachers. So that's gonna make our classrooms and our school events, graduation, prom, et cetera, even safer. So I'm so excited and hope that um, as many students as possible um, sign up for these events. Our goal is to vaccinate 6,000 DPS students through these events and making it as easy as possible um, to do so by doing it right in your neighborhood. I'm Bill Berman. I'm the Director of Public Health at Denver Health. Uh, the overall COVID situation is that we've had a modest increase in cases. That's been shown in a number of ways, number of cases, the percent of tests that are positive, the number of persons admitted to the hospital. Uh, however, I think we're also seeing the beginnings of the impacts of vaccination on, on case rates. And that's fully expected. These vaccines protect against all kinds of infections, both symptomatic and asymptomatic. And therefore they will decrease transmission when we get them out. The news on the vaccine front is good. We're approaching 300,000 persons in Denver County having received their first vaccine. Uh, that's almost 50% of the persons who are currently eligible. That is persons who are 16 years of age and above. And I think we're beginning, as I said, beginning to see the impacts of that on transmission uh, across the city. And it reminds me of, of some of the discussion about masking months ago, that part of the reason to mask is to protect yourself. At least as much of the reason to mask in public places is to protect others, because this is a virus that can spread from people who are feeling fine. Uh, that was the justification for universal masking. I think vaccination has some similarities. Part of the reason to be vaccinated is to, is to prevent illness in yourself and the attendant consequences of isolation, potentially hospitalization, uh, even serious complications. The other reason is to protect others, that um, having had the vaccine makes you very unlikely uh, to acquire uh, COVID and very unlikely hence to spread it. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's certainly a concern to have a safety signal raised about a vaccine. And the, the safety signal is one about a rare form of blood clotting that can be serious. And so uh, we take that, that very seriously. Uh, I would hasten to emphasize two things. One is that we have two vaccines, the Moderna and Pfizer vaccines, that have now been used in hundreds of millions of people across the world and across this country. And there have been no safety concerns raised about either of those vaccines. But the vaccine that we'll be using in 16 and 17 year olds, and we think in the near future in, in 12 to 15 year olds, will be the Pfizer vaccine. So it's a concern. Uh, we all need to, to pause and evaluate it. We should continue to use two vaccines with an excellent safety record in hundreds of millions of people.